Hellish Expectations is the sixth full-length album from Midnight, a Cleveland, Ohio-based black heavy metal band who've been around quite a while, and they've added quite a lot to the uh, black thrash, black and roll, and a lot of other uh, characteristic um, styles that have brought black metal to the masses in a lot of different tuneful ways, and I think that their sound certainly wasn't possible until the sort of new wave of thrash metal sort of happened in the early 2000s and that's that's when they first showed up that's when their first demo showed up so if you were a fan of maybe uh toxic holocaust or that kind of band that's really where this this band showed up from is that time period uh, with their first demo back in the day midnight is was always a sort of body uh grotesque uh defiant idea of what black metal was but it was also very much motorhead it was very much venom especially and it, it it was a heavy metal band to start but maybe a more abrasive thrashing one on their first demo so i feel like what hellish expectation does is react to the last five albums in a way that makes it feel a little bit more like they've still got that energy going and uh, um so that's not so overthought overwritten for what it is and uh, what we'll do is we'll cut to a, a clip here just to, to get uh, the feel of how uh, quick and pushed out and effortless this album feels compared to their last several <laughs> So Midnight set the standard for themselves, basically, with Satanic Royalty. I think that was an album that a lot of people noticed, but of course, their follow-up to it and the, the album since then have all built up momentum. But I remember back in the day, a lot of people were really picking up what, on what they were doing with that first record, and it was more of like an underground thing where a lot of bands took a lot of influence from that and ran with it all over the world. And we saw that probably came to a head about uh, 2015 to 2019 or so. There was just so many black thrash metal bands and black heavy metal bands. There was always enough room for all of them, whether it was Canada, Brazil, um, and uh, Europe in general. There, there was obviously this influence was huge and they hit a, you know, a bigger label and people kind of, you know, when things hit a bigger label, they just, duck out and find something else to do but if you followed um midnight after sweet death and ecstasy they really hit their stride and i feel like maybe their best album overall at this point was rebirth by blasphemy i know a lot of people won't agree with that i think that there's maybe more spirited performances and songwriting on their earlier records but and my favorite for a long time was sweet death and ecstasy even but i feel like that's the most representative this is midnight album but they've written a couple since then, and they've been been all very tuneful. They've been uh, focusing more on the kind of motorhead side of things. Uh, you know, of course, Venom still applies to what they do. But for me, the energy just wasn't there, and the novelty of the songwriting was all that it was about. And that really didn't translate directly with the live show. This is a great live band. They're actually pretty exciting to watch if you like this type of music, and it makes for a good show. So what I think Hellish Expectations means to do is just sort of react to that directly and bring back a lot of the punk uh, a lot of the faster more aggressive side of the band and i think that that does make me want to talk more about a band like warfare or, or you know, even Sla i mentioned slaughter on here where we're getting something more abrupt more abrasive more metal punk in spirit but also this is black heavy metal and they do uh, have all those traits that midnight has carried through onto this album so they're they are tuneful they are in the spirit of early speed metal and black metal but we get faster heavier punk songs basically the way that i see them speed metal if you will and that just has a lot more energy you know the the old dog has some of those old tricks that are even better than what they were doing more recently and i think that uh, the important thing for any band to do after so long is to recapture that lightning in a bottle to to feel like there's a vibrancy returning to their their craft that they still have it and i think that midnight do that pretty well here with hellish expectations they didn't have to overthink it they didn't have to um uh, try too hard to put these pieces together i feel like this is i think they said that Athenar wrote this in a weekend and I could believe it but I think that it all came out great and it sounds a lot more vibrant and, and impressive than uh, the, the, the most recent records from the band as well as the sort of motorhead influenced white spade uh, from a couple years ago so uh, for me this is kind of a return to form 
but also a place where they hadn't been before. This is uh, maybe the type of band I always wanted Midnight to sound like, and it meant that I never skipped a song and that none of them kind of wore in my attention span. So I, for me, this is a high recommendation, maybe a moderately high recommendation, depending on, uh, you know, how long it lasts in rotation. But uh, just it's it's catchy. It's got a lot of that uh, kind of UK 82 punk in, in it. Uh, it feels like this is in the spirit of a certain era of heavy metal where metal and punk were fusing in a, an important way in creating that speed metal and black metal feeling. And so this is kind of the things that Midnight stand for with a lot of energy behind it. So I was into it. See if you are. See if it's that to, that's to your taste. Um, and uh, check out a couple songs here as you read the review. <laughs> 